Good morning, Gladiators. My name is Abby Lorbecki. And I'm Jada McDonald. And this is your KWHS News. Gladiators, we have recently sat down with Mr. Hoffman to get a state of the school. Listen to what he has to say. This is my third year as the principal here at Whitefield High School, and you know, Whitefield is a great place. The state of the school, we're continuing with our, uh, our power tickets and our power awards for pride, ownership, work, excellence, and respect. I really appreciate all the work that kids are doing. We appreciate the leadership in the hallways. I have really noticed a, a difference in our culture from all of the positive things that we're doing. One of the things that I've really appreciated this year uh, is uh, Rex's Rowdies. The Rowdies that have been coming to our sports games have been fantastic. They've done a great job of being positive for our team and supporting our team and that's been very very cool. We continue with all of our after school clubs giving kids lots of opportunities to be involved in great things from marching band to NJROTC to ultimate frisbee, board gaming club, student union, those types of things. So just really happy with the way the school year has started and with the cool things that we continue to do here at Whitefield. So the new cell phone policy isn't really a new policy at all for us. So essentially what has happened is there is a district level cell phone policy the, that our district has adopted says that cell phones can be used for academic purposes in the classroom only. So if teachers want the students to take out their cell phones to do some research, to use it as a calculator, um, to look words up or to do different things, cell phones are supposed to be allowed for that and all teachers still have the ability to use the cell phones for that uh, and they can use it however they would like to in their classrooms for academic purposes. We found that there were other uses for cell phones primarily for the use of music. Uh, kids wanting to listen to music during different activities that we were having a problem with consistency throughout the building. We figured that we needed to have some protocol language to make sure that we were consistent in all of the classrooms for when we allowed students to deviate from the district policy. We met as faculty leaders and what we came up with is we were going to allow the use of headphones in the classroom at the teacher discretion during independent work time only. There will be a poster that we have that we're going to give each teacher that they're going to post in the classroom and it'll have a picture of a headphone on it and so when headphones are allowed to be used in the classroom they'll go ahead and post that picture and then no questions asked. Some teachers may choose not to have kids use headphones. They may play their own music. They may do other things. That's totally up to the teacher discretion so students please make sure that you abide by whatever rules the teacher has. They let you use your headphones headphones great. If they don't let you use your headphones, you've got to live with that. Also, uh, as you come out of the class, if you're using the headphones, headphones shouldn't be seen and your phones shouldn't be seen in the hallways during lunch, any of those things. We just wanted to provide some more direction for the administration and for the staff to make sure that we were all on the same page. You know, Whitefield is my alma mater. I graduated from Whitefield High School in 1988. Uh, I was a student here at Whitefield. I was a teacher here at Whitefield and being a principal here at Whitefield is absolutely the biggest honor that I could ever, uh, ever have imagined. Uh, it's exactly where I want to be. It's a wonderful school. We've got great teachers. We've got amazing students. We've got great parents. Well, this is a great place to be, and I, I couldn't be more happy with the students and staff at Whitefield. Attention juniors and seniors, college reps continue to visit us. October visits start off with Pikes Peak Community College tomorrow the 4th, Grand Canyon University on Thursday the 6th, then Western State University on October 11th, and for Hayes State University on October 12th, in November, UNC Greeley will stop by on the 1st, DU will be here on the 8th, and Lamar Community College will stop by on November 10th. And CSU Fort Collins will end the month with a visit on November 17th. Remember to get your pass from the Counseling Center to attend any of these sessions. Senior photos and baby ads are due October 21st. See Mrs. Kennedy for details. Also, seniors, remember that Herf Jones will be ordering caps and gowns and WHS announcements orders, order before prices go up before winter break. Contact Herf Jones directly at this number. If you are interested in taking the PSAT test on Saturday, October 15th, you need to sign up in the Counseling Center by noon on October 13th. The cost is $15 and is due at sign up. Space is limited. Remember that the PSAT test is not mandatory, but a a PSAT score is required if you have any intentions for trying for the very difficult merit scholarship. The test will be 8 a.m. to noon. Hey, Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Good morning. It's Monday. Welcome back from a nice weekend. T today we're having hot wings and fries. Hope you come by and see us. Bye. That sounds like a good lunch. All teachers and students, if you have a relative who graduated from Whitefield and is currently active duty in the military, please bring a photo of them, including their name, rank, 
and the year they graduate to the NJROTC room in 125. Now here's Dylan with your sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Dylan Mack, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Girls Basketball Open Gym starts today from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in Bowers Gym and will continue Mondays and Wednesdays until the season starts in November. Ultimate Frisbee meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays on the Community Center soccer field from 3 to 5. Would you like a signed Tampa Bay Buccaneers jersey from Whitefield? graduate Vincent Jackson. The Booster Club will be selling raffle tickets and you can purchase them at any home varsity football game. The tickets are $1 for three, $2 for five, and $5 for 10. The drawings is at the last home game of the season. Volleyball has a game at Mesa Ridge. Softball has a game at Elizabeth. Volleyball is holding our second annual Dig Pink game on Thursday, October 13th. Wear pink to support breast cancer awareness. I am Dylan Mack and have an excellent Monday. Back to you, Abby and Jaden. Thanks, Dylan. The Security Public Library Yearly Story Contest is going on. This year contest is a picture prompt story. You can see the picture at the library or the library's website. The first prize winner will earn a $50 Barnes & Noble gift card. Second place will get a 25 card. For more information, call Barb at this number. We have a new segment called In the Club. Welding Club will be Monday until 4 in room 15 and Science Club in Miss Carmody's room 121. Tuesday's clubs will be Rex's Rowdies in room 5 at lunch, Sophomore Council in the magazine room also at lunch, and Ultimate Frisbee after school. Remember that today is High Five Day. And Tuesday is Peace Sign Day. I'm Abby Lorbecki. And I'm Jana McDonald, and this was your KWHS News.